Okay, guys, here we are again. We're going to talk about global winds. Okay, here's the earth. Um, we've got the poles up here at 90 degrees north, 90 degrees south. This air here is cooler. This is the equator right here in the middle. This is the hotter regions. Um, two things that we need to remember, hot air rises, cool air sinks. When hot air rises, it creates low pressure. Because it's rising. Whenever cool air sinks, it creates a high pressure. Because it's pushing down. Okay? This happens globally. And what air always wants to do is it wants to equal out. Okay? It doesn't like to have high pressure and low pressure. It wants to be equal. So this is why winds move. Let's look over here. Warm air tends to rise. And so whenever we say rise, we're going to talk about rising up to the poles. Okay? So this is globally. The wind is going to rise up to the poles when it reaches about 30 degrees north or south, either way, it starts to sink back down to the poles. So this is warmer air, this is cooler air coming back down to the poles. Same thing happens up here at the in the poles. This is at the North Pole, happens in the South Pole as well. It sinks down, the cool air sinks down because it's a higher pressure, so it's sinking down. And then as it warms up, it starts to come back up to the poles. Okay, so that's warmer air that's coming back up. When this air starts to rise, it creates a low pressure pocket right there at 60 degrees north. When this air starts to sink back down, it creates a high pressure pocket right there at 30 degrees north. So what happens right here in the middle between 30 and 60, which is where we live, it's opposite. In other words, this is sinking, cold air, warming, warm air, warm air, cold air, okay? What happens between 30 and 60 degrees is this air that is um, cooler air rises and this sinks. So it's opposite, okay? So it's opposite of that. These are the winds that are in the middle. These are coming from the equator. This is the air that is coming from the poles. What happens is it creates global winds. So in general, that doesn't mean local winds. That doesn't mean that's always the wind is going to be blowing from one particular direction. But in general, what happens is winds that are up here are called polar easterlies. Okay? Polar easterlies tells you two things. It tells you where it comes from in the poles and it tells you where it comes from as far as direction east. So polar easterlies are found at the poles and they blow from the east. <clears throat> right here in the middle where things are kind of flipped, what happens is we end up with um, winds that are called westerlies. So the weather patterns and the global wind patterns that occur through this middle part are called westerlies and that means that the wind, the global winds, move to the west or come from the west and move to the east. So it comes from the west, they're called westerlies and they blow to the east. Um, and we see this where we live because we know that most of our weather patterns come from the west and they blow across the United States that way. Down here at the poles, remember this air is coming down here, this air is coming down, this air that's coming back down to the poles are called trade winds. Trade winds are really, really, really strong winds. They're the strongest winds on the earth. They blow to the west. They come from the east. But what's happening is this part of the earth, remember, is spinning faster than any other part of the earth. The equator spins so fast that it actually bulges. So whenever <clears throat> it's spinning, it's spinning this direction. The winds are coming this way. The earth is overriding that. And so it's creating this wind that actually is the strongest winds on Earth. So these are trade winds, westerlies, polar easterlies.